Hi everyone, in this video I'll be covering the changes to the CFA Level 3 program curriculum for the year 2020. Now of course this video will be relevant for those who just passed uh, the CFA Level 2 exam and you're planning to go for uh, next year's 2020 exam, okay, or let's say if you are taking the Level 3 exam uh, this year and let's say you didn't make it through, okay, and you want to find out what are the changes uh, that the CFA Institute has made, okay, then this video is for you. So in 2020, uh, the CFA Institute has reduced from 19 study sessions down to 16 study sessions. Okay, and it's a major revamp this uh, next year where 14 readings have been added and 13, re 13 readings have been removed. Okay, the only uh, thing that they did not change is the exam weightage. Okay, and the uh, exam structure still maintains uh, as the one in 2019 where in the afternoon session there will be 11 item sets uh, with 60 multiple choice questions. So there will be 8 vignettes with 6 uh, multiple choice questions and 3 vignettes with uh, 4 multiple choice questions. So fixed income uh, will continue to be uh, heavyweight. Okay, uh, same goes to uh, portfolio management as well as ethics. Now let's look at uh, the individual readings for each study session. Okay, since uh, there's a major revamp, it's good to know what's coming for 2020. So. Uh, for reading one and two, there are no changes. Okay, so we still have your code of ethics and uh, guidance for standards uh, one to seven. For reading three, it's a uh, new reading. Okay, so they have uh, revamped this. Okay, so the reading last year, reading three, has been removed from 2019. So, of course, there'll be more examples on the applications of standards. Then uh, there's been a slight rearrangement. So for the reading four on professionalism, okay, last year this was in reading six. Okay, so they have uh, moved it from reading six to reading four. So they have removed the study session on uh, the asset management industry. Okay, the asset manager code of professional conduct still stays. And then uh, reading uh, on Gibbs has been moved from reading 37 from the end to the front. Okay, so this is uh, consistent with how it is. Uh, it appears in level one as well. Now, uh, there's no change to behavioral finance. Okay, we still have uh, these three readings. Study session four on capital market expectations is uh, entirely new. Okay, there's no longer the reading 16 and 17 for capital market expectations and equity market valuation. So there'll be now two readings, reading 10 and 11, uh, where there'll be capital market expectations part one and part two. Part one will uh, be framework and macro considerations, and part two will be on forecasting asset class returns. Okay, so there'll be some elements from reading 16. Okay, so there'll be some uh, formulas that are familiar as well to those uh, from who, who did uh, level three in 2019. Okay, you will still have Grinnell Croner, you will have a single Taha model. Then over to asset allocation, uh, there's no changes to the readings here. It is, they're still reading 12 to 14. Okay, but uh, there are some additional LOS to reading 18 uh, for overview of asset allocation. Okay, so they shifted some part of uh, investment governance, okay, over to reading 12, okay, for 2020. Originally, that, that particular LOS was in uh, this reading back in uh, 2018, okay, but in 2019, they took it out and set it as a new reading, okay, but they removed that reading uh, now in 2020. Now, for derivatives, okay, uh, it's also entirely new. Uh, so they took out reading 31 to 34. Okay, uh, 31 has not been replaced with uh, any new readings. Okay, so the reading 33 on risk management applications of option strategies has been removed. So they have put in a uh, reading 15 on option strategies. Now, for those who did level two, okay, uh, for the last uh, two years, okay, this reading will be quite familiar as this was this has been shifted up from derivatives in level two to level three, okay. So for those of you who did level three this year and you are repeating, uh, the reading is pretty much the same uh, with regarding option strategies. There, it's still uh, the bull spreads, the bear spreads, uh, covered calls, protect, uh, protective put. Uh, the only thing you probably won't find is the box spread. Now, then uh, over to reading 16, they now combine uh, the two topics, reading 32 and 34, on forwards and futures and options, okay, into one topic. So it's an entirely new topic, okay, and there are also additional LOS uh, covered like volatility uh, swaps and variance swaps. And reading 17, currency management and introduction is from uh, last year. Okay, so there's there's no change to this. 
Now, uh, fixed income uh, pretty much stays the same. Okay, there are some slight changes to uh, rating 25, okay, on uh, credit strategies, okay, but it, it's a pretty minor one. And then uh, equity portfolio management was also uh, revamped uh, in 2019. So, of course, in 2020, there are no changes here. Okay, we still have the four ratings. Now, over to alternative investments, uh, it's a tot again, it's a totally new study session. Okay, they have removed rating 30 alternative investments uh, portfolio management. Okay, which was a pretty much intro topic, but uh, now they have revamped it. So in 2020, uh, there'll be one reading on hedge fund strategies, okay, and also one reading on asset allocation to alternative investments. Right, now, they have shifted uh, private wealth management from the beginning of the syllabus up to the very end. Okay, uh, then they have removed reading 10 on managing individual investor portfolios and they have added a new reading, which is uh, reading 28, overview of private wealth management. So an entirely new reading here. And then uh, we uh, for reading 29 and 30, they are from the old topics in 2019. Okay, there have been some minor changes uh, regarding formulas. Okay, uh, but again, it's very minor. Uh, reading 31 and 32 maintains the same from 2019, uh, although the reading number has been changed. Right, then uh, uh, portfolio management for institutional investors is totally new. Okay, they removed reading 15. Uh, the only additional institutional investor, will, the new one we'll see here is uh, on sovereign wealth fund. Okay, besides that, we still have the the remain the same ones as like uh, defined benefit plans. We have uh, foundations, endowments, uh, banks, and also insurance firms. Okay, and uh, they have also rewritten the part on uh, banks and insurance firm. So it is it's quite different from uh, the one in uh, reading fifteen. Right then, uh, reading thirty five has been removed. Uh, the one the part on execution of portfolio decisions, and they've added in a new reading uh, thirty four on trade strategy and execution. Okay, uh, you will still have uh, some similar contents like uh, implementation shortfall, although it's been written in different ways. Okay, and uh, reading thirty six has been removed. Okay, and then they have uh, broken this down into two new readings. Reading thirty five is on portfolio performance evaluation. Okay, where they have. Uh, it's a totally new topic and then there'll be some new ratios uh, that you probably wouldn't have seen in 2019 and then uh, there's also rating 36 on investment manager selection so this portion here was part of rating 36 I army mean, in 2019 okay but they have taken it out and expanded on it okay so this is a pretty uh, new one okay and uh, quite interesting add additional uh, addition to this uh, syllabus now, for the last two readings, okay, uh, CFA Institute has added in uh, case studies, okay, with reading 37 looking at case studies in portfolio management, okay, uh, particularly focusing on the institutional side. So it's more of an application of the part on uh, portfolio management for institutional investors. And then for reading 38 uh, on case study in risk management, uh, this focuses on the individual side. We look at private wealth management. So this is more of an application of uh, reading 32 on risk management for individuals okay so this has been a really big change these are for the coming year 2020 for level 3 uh, it's best to start earlier in the CFA Institute website or in the end of chapter questions there'll be a lot of resources available for you to start preparing